So, in the last episode, as I just mentioned, we were working on getting started with a little bit of Project E. And towards the end of the stream, we finally managed to get ourselves the energy condenser. And thus, we can now uh, transform really any item we like into almost any other item, so long as those items both have EMC values. Um, it's also occurring to me that I didn't even explain how the energy condenser works or what it does. Um, so if you're unfamiliar, for those of you who are unfamiliar with how the energy condenser works, um, certain items in the game, uh, almost all vanilla items and then quite a lot of the modded items as well, have an EMC value. For example, a diamond has an EMC value of 8,192. Redstone has an EMC value of 64. And essentially you can transmute items between different forms. For example, if you want to turn um, a diamond into redstone, you can put a diamond in the bottom slot here, you can put redstone in the top slot here, and it will turn that diamond into redstone, right? It'll do whatever uh, 8,192 divided by 64 is. Apparently it's 128, and that's how many pieces of redstone you'll get. You can also do it vice versa. You know, you can put a bit of diamond uh, in at the top there and then throw the redstone in. And if it's not bugging out, it should go ahead and potentially turn it back. There we go. It is working. All right. Most of you probably know how that works already, but just in case you didn't, that is how the uh, energy condenser works. Pretty cool stuff, especially for really difficult items to make, items that can be a little bit tedious. For example, if we look in the transmutation table here, uh, in the last stream, we were working on making some dark matter. Dark matter is not crazy hard to make, but it's a little bit tedious, a little bit time consuming. It's probably going to be easier going forward for us to just EMC the dark matter, you know, just throw a bunch of diamonds or a bunch of anything with a high EMC value into the energy condenser and then duplicate the dark matter that we already have as opposed to making more dark matter uh, later on down the line. The same goes for the energy condenser itself. Uh, if we want to make the transmutation table we need to have four energy condensers to do that and so what we're probably going to end up doing potentially is just making one more energy condenser and then condensing that energy condenser to get four of them thus allowing us to make the transmutation tablet and speaking of the transmutation table i think we might just maybe be able to get this in today's stream. I'm not going to make any promises because it is a pretty big crafting recipe, but looking at most of this stuff, I don't think that it is inconceivable that we could be able uh, to make this today, potentially. Now, before we start working on any of that, though, I have made a couple of changes to the base since the end of the last stream. Uh, over here on the right, I've added in um, a new set of storage drawers. Behind there is the ender chest, which is connected to our wither spawner. And so now all of the drops from the wither are being pumped out uh, into a draw controller. I can actually show you this uh, behind here. We've got a, a draw controller right about there. All of the stuff from the end chest is just being pulled out into the draw controller and then thus pumped uh, into all of those storage drawers just to allow us uh, a bit more space. Kind of that, that end chest there was getting filled up and thus we weren't getting the nether stars. They were being produced, but then just dropped on the floor and that is... 100% a complete waste of nether stars. And then over here, I've done a little bit more work with chickens. Specifically, I've gone ahead and made a bunch more cold chickens. I did this originally because I wanted to make more dark matter. And to make dark matter, you need a bunch of etanalis fuel. And the etanalis fuel, of course, requires a ton of coal. However, then I just, I kind of realized halfway through doing this, originally I was going to fill the whole line with coal chickens. I did realize halfway through that, that I didn't need to do that because of course we can just condense the dark matter. It's really not necessary. Uh, over here, we've got our neutron collector that we made at the end of the last episode. Uh, again, is now pumping down uh, all of these uh, tiny piles of neutrons into a storage drawer. Again, the same reasoning, uh, just because the neutron collector that we had originally had filled up and uh, needed a bit more space to put all of the uh, tiny piles of neutron, of which we are going to need an absolute metric butt ton uh, if we're going to get anywhere near this transmutation tablet, uh, because it does require, how many is this? It's like 7... 28 of these uh, neutrium, neutronium nuggets. And to make those, each one requires nine piles of neutro neutrons. Neutrons and neutroniums. I'm going to keep getting those mixed up. But uh, that means to be whatever 28 times nine is, that's how many uh, piles of neutrons we need. So we need quite a few. Um, make more of the neutron collectors. I do intend to. Uh, this is very much on my list of things to do. Uh, I'm not going to do it just yet. Uh, and I might do it like off camera, but I was intending to kind of replace maybe all of these chickens here with more uh, neutron collectors. They're not particularly hard to make. Uh, um, the only real limiting factor is the nether stars, right? Um, it's a bunch of redstone, a bunch of quartz, some iron, and then, what is it, two, four, six, seven of these crystal matrix ingots, which is 14 nether stars. Uh, right now, I think we've got just shy of 200 nether stars, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see here, nether stars, are these connected up? They are indeed. Oh, we've got 302 nether stars, and so we can make quite a lot 
of uh, these neutron collectors if we'd like, and I will do um, at some point in the near future here. It is on my list of things to do. Over here, I, I did go ahead and replace uh, this thing here with a compacting drawer. We can now store uh, quite a lot of awakened draconium and currently we have got 1044 ingots and then finally uh, over here on the end in regards to the chickens i also set up um, a night slime chicken which is fairly easy to get uh, if we show you the recipe here real quick i think it's a manulin chicken bred with a pig iron chicken and the manulin is made of course with ardite and cobalt uh, making the night slime of course because if we go back to that transmutation tablet recipe we do need uh, what like eight night slime ingots to make this thing work um, and we do already have 513 night slime ingots uh, already there so that should not be a problem whatsoever yes the heavy <laughs> the heavy sieve with dirt is gone it's true i did do a little bit of cleaning up around the base as well i got rid of the heavy sieve um, i took down the lasers i moved i got rid of some of our furnaces i don't think we needed four furnaces and so uh, i moved the atomic reconstructor it's now in a more usable place i moved the painting machine uh, it's also in a more usable place before uh, both those machines were kind of hidden back here and thus were a little bit difficult to access just overall tried to kind of clean up the base a bit and uh, make it look a little bit neater but let's have a look at getting this transmutation tablet because i think we might have what it takes right so um really there are only a few there are a few different pieces here that are going to be a, a bit difficult for us to get. One of them is the HDPE pellets from Mechanism. Uh, these require us to put some substrate into a PRC, which is a pressurized reaction chamber with some oxygen, which you can get by uh, putting down water uh, into a electrolytic separate. You can turn water into hydrogen and oxygen, but then you also need liquid ethylene. Liquid ethylene is made in the condensentrator. Uh, the condensentrator can turn ethylene into liquid ethylene. Normal ethylene is made uh, in the PRC, again, the pressurized reaction chamber with water and hydrogen and then a little bit of biofuel. Biofuel you can make in the crusher for mechanism with really any kind of like natural item, cactus, potatoes, I think wheat, apples, saplings, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and so that really shouldn't be too difficult to do. I don't think I'm going to start with that today. Instead, what I'm thinking of is we might start by working towards getting some of these energy collectors because these things are not only required for making the transmutation table, but also uh, really cool in that they allow us to passively generate EMC. Now, it's not a crazy amount of EMC. Uh, you'll see right here, the tier three collector only generates a maximum of 40 EMC per second. But if you have a large number of them, if you leave them going um, for a substantial period of time, it does produce quite a bit of EMC. And we also need one for making the transmutation table as well. And so I figured that we might as well go ahead and kind of set these up and running, uh, especially given that they're fairly easy to make. All we need to do is put in a furnace, uh, eight, or oh, sorry, six blocks of glowstone, one block of diamond, and one piece of glass into our system. And as we showed off in the previous stream, uh, all we have to do is kind of put a stack of each item into each of the uh, crafting ejectors and then put a stack of furnaces in the middle. And we can make like a, we can just let that kind of do its thing in the background and get as a stack of uh, energy collectors and then of course once we've got the first the, the the mark one energy collectors we can then go ahead and upgrade those to mark two and then mark three you get the idea uh, so let me quickly grab uh, 62 furnaces here i think i'm going to go ahead and try and make a full stack of this i'm not quite sure yeah no, i think we should definitely have what it takes to make a full stack of these uh, so let's go ahead and grab that let's also energy collector what was it six stacks of glowstone i think it was uh, we don't have the glowstone blocks already available but we do have eight thousand glowstone uh, in our system which is quite nice so we'll throw that away and then one two three four five and six we then also need one stack of diamond blocks which i think we might have i did also go ahead and set up um, a new diamond chicken uh, so we have that as well uh, if we do indeed start to run out of diamonds hopefully that will uh, keep us afloat i think i forgot to mention it but it's right here next to the night slime chicken we've also got a diamond chicken uh, now producing us diamonds as well which is quite nice nice And again, we can kind of just leave this. We could make it faster by using our acceleration wand uh, for like this part here. But for the most part, I'm happy to kind of just leave this and have this working in the background uh, as we progress on uh, throughout the stream. So we can kind of just let that do its thing there. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Make one plus EMC it, right? Oh, make one. Mm. See, that's a fair point. We could. I don't necessarily know if like, is this the comp? Like, does this equal the same amount? Oh, I guess it does, right? Hmm. Let's see. They make a very good point. They make a very good point in that we don't actually have to let this automate. We can just make them all right away. See, already I have forgotten that we can just condense 
the items that we need. We can make one of them, which I think we've already just made, right? We have. And then we can just condense more of them as and when we need them. I don't have to go ahead and make a stack of them all at once like that. That is very nice indeed. I'm going to have to, you're going to have to keep reminding me, chat, because I'm going to keep forgetting throughout the series. Nick and I have been having, we've had uh, Project E, like from the beginning in Sky Adventures, and every time I just keep forgetting and keep making things the standard way. But anyway, here we go. So all we got to do is just put uh, one energy collector in the top there and then just throw in like the rest of the diamond blocks and that'll go ahead and make a stack right away, which is very nice indeed. Uh, so I guess in that case, all I need to do is grab one piece of dark matter, which I don't think we have. We don't. Uh, so let me quickly go ahead then in that case and craft up a bunch more of this Eternalis fuel. Again, really just going to try and get one piece of dark matter and then kind of work with that to get more going forward uh hopefully this sh might be enough i'm actually not too sure that's only gonna get us four uh, eight analysis fuel i think we require eight right in order to make a piece of uh dark matter we do indeed so give me another like stack of that and then another 16 of if i can get the right recipe here give me another 16 of those and then let's quickly upgrade those to eight analysis fuel and that should be our, our bit of dark matter it's not a particularly hard recipe uh, but it is a little bit of a tedious one and of course we do need that uh, that block of diamonds in the middle there like so and kablammy that's another piece of dark matter good stuff uh, and again we'll just throw that in here this time so that's 56 of those tier one energy collectors again we don't need to i, I shouldn't have made those really because i should just make uh the tier three energy collector and then multiply those if we're going to do it that way uh, but nevertheless we'll put this in we will use these to make more dark matter like so we will then take at least one of those pieces of dark matter and see about upgrading our tier one energy collector to uh to tier two here so let's have a look we want to put in dark matter and i think again it was just six stacks of glowstone so one two three four five six and was it glass again like that Oh no, there's another piece of glowstone. I see. I see. And then we'll throw the tier two, uh, the tier one even, in like so. Let's start. Nice. And then we have it. That's another, that's the next tier of energy collector. And then the final tier here of energy collector does require a little bit of dark matter. And also thinking about it now, uh, I was a bit of a fool in that I should have made um, the Eternalis fuel. Do I have any spare? I don't. I should have made just one piece of Eternalis fuel that I can then replicate. I've got to get, you've got to get in a mindset of uh of having equivalent exchange at your mercy like when you when you've played without it for so long and then suddenly you've got to get into that kind of mindset of just having everything available it's uh it's kind of crazy so i don't think that these storage drawers are connected up we do have like thirteen thousand coal, twenty thousand coal uh, in there but those ones are not available uh, in the system i think i can make them available because you'll see here i have this extremely long list of, uh, of items i think all i need to do is find which of those items holds all of the coal and then we should be able to access most of it from the, from within the system um, there are a few of them here but there's one that has like twenty thousand in it and that one's really the one that we want to get uh, hooked up it's that one there might as well go ahead and connect that one as uh, well while we're at it uh so what are we missing here we oh no we can go ahead and make this now right so i think i need like two stacks of this which oh yeah the system kind of poops itself occasionally doesn't it that's fine. It, it seems to be whenever I request like large, large amounts here. 34 should be enough. And then very quickly grab some eight analysis fuel. That gets us nine. Nine, thankfully, is more than enough to go ahead and make our first piece of red matter. Again, not going to make the same mistake here. We're going to make sure that we always keep at least one piece of red matter because otherwise we're going to have to make it all over again, which is really not worth it. All right, so let's start in the... Uh, oh, no, I think we just need to leave that in there, right? It's again just, I think, the same... It's just uh, this time with red matter instead of with dark matter. Yeah, red matter and then seven glowstone. So one, two, three, four, and then five, six, and seven. Right? Nice. And then, of course, once we've got this thing, we can go ahead and just condense that multiple times over if we want to get more uh, energy collectors on the go. And I'm fairly certain that the way this works is all we have to do is place the energy collector down right next to the energy condenser, and it will just slowly but surely uh, pump 40 redstone flux per tick into the energy condenser free of charge, essentially just like very slowly making any item that we want it to make, right? So, for example, if I throw that down there, you'll see here that now, despite us not putting anything into the energy condenser, 
it is slowly but surely uh, making a piece of red matter. Of course, this would take a ridiculously long amount of time, right? If I pull up a calculator real quick, it's 466, or we'll say 467,000 um, EMC. We're making 40 EMC a second. That's 12,000 seconds and thus, you know, 194 minutes, which is three hours to make one piece of red matter, which is not particularly great, but we can go ahead and produce more of these energy collectors. And also, um, I believe that we can kind of also have more energy uh, energy condensers pumping into one energy... Uh, try that again. I think we could also have more energy collectors pumping into one energy condenser uh, if we use the antimatter relays, these guys right here, because of course, by default, you can only have up to six energy collectors around one energy condenser due to the fact that the energy con uh, condenser only has six sides. But if you use the antimatter relays, you can, uh, I believe you can put the antimatter relays all around the energy condenser. And then around the energy condenser, you can have yet more of these of these energy collectors right so it kind of effectively multiplies the area that you can connect with uh five sides you need one side to access the energy condenser that is true that is true um in theory you do have to be able to access the energy condenser but i guess if you wanted to you could just put in the red matter and then fully surround it and then just come back you know the next day and check on it right so that should be easy enough but i kind of want to check this out right i also think that the antimatter really has an added benefit of also in slightly increasing the amount of redstone flux and by redstone flux i mean emc that the energy condensers the there's so many words that begin with energy um, i think the antimatter relay also has the added benefit of increasing the emc that the energy collectors pump into the energy condenser and so I think I might try and make this real quick. Again, it's not a particularly difficult recipe. It's the exact same recipe, but with obsidian instead of glowstone. And so if we just go and grab all that stuff real quick, and by grab all that stuff, I mean, we've pretty much already got it. All of our obsidian is uh, is in here. And also let's quickly uh, eat some apples real quick so we don't starve. But uh, if we get that, we should be able to set up at least a slightly better uh, system for generating free EMC, which is gonna be quite nice. So let's remove all of the glowstone real quick. We can kind of just put this, uh, I guess, directly into the energy condenser now. We don't necessarily need it. And then replace that with a bunch of obsidian. Uh, we do need to make sure we spread this out across like six different pieces like that. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then glass and furnace. What else was I missing? Oh, of course, the block of diamonds. That's the bit that makes it just a little bit more expensive. Diamond block let me if i can type kapow kablammy and kaboom nice uh, emerald chickens for emc emerald chickens are a good source of emc and we probably will definitely uh, use them as a source of emc uh, if we uh, if we need that i don't know if we're going to need like massive emc farms although actually that's a lie i know 100 we're definitely going to need uh, massive emc farms and the reason for that is that uh, if i just want to three four five six seven and Dark matter, is that right? It is nice. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, if we do want to make uh, the transmutation tablet, if we do want to get to the very end of this pack, uh, we are going to need multiple of the infinity ingots. The infinity ingots, of course, being made with these infinity uh, catalysts, which require, uh, at the moment, 7 billion EMC. I'm told that in the newest version of the pack, it's only like 4 billion EMC. And so uh, even though we only need like, what, uh, 8, 9 to 11 of these per, well, you need 11 per ingot, and we need 8 ingots. So we need 88 of those uh infinity crystals these infinity catalysts and then that's 88 multiplied by 4 billion you know so that's like 332 billion emc 320 billion emc something like that so 320 billion emc is what it is so yeah we probably are going to need some form of like emc farming system and an emerald chickens are a good way to do that they're very easy to set up you can make a ton of them and they do produce emeralds which are quite uh good in terms of uh, emc value and so yeah that's probably definitely something uh, that we will look towards doing but for now let's go ahead and quickly make sure that we have again one piece of red matter spare so uh, do we have it in here we do i'm gonna throw all this glowstone in i don't think that's gonna get us anywhere near close to the uh the red matter what is like currently the highest emc value that we have we've got quite a few emeralds and so i guess actually it's probably worth me here just grabbing a couple of emerald blocks and, uh, and throwing those into the condenser like if i grab like eight of those i don't know if that's anywhere near enough but if we throw that in yeah that makes us quite a bit of red matter which is quite nice i'll throw the rest back in there for now just so it's safe and so now if we throw this down right about here that should again go ahead and one two three four five six oh, i'm missing one piece of obsidian seven nice
All right, so let me see here. Where is my freaking cobblestone? If I throw this down, so I've, I think, this is not gonna be the final position for this, but I think the way this works is we throw down an energy killing a condenser like this, and then if we put down an antimatter relay between it and the energy collector, I think that still produces EMC. It does, so that pumps EMC in. I think it puts the EMC in slightly faster. Now, the reason why we would do this, is, of course, is because now if we go and we put in really quickly here the energy uh, collector mark three, and we'll, we can get rid of the energy collector mark once here. Uh, essentially, what we can do now is we can put multiple uh, energy collectors around each antimatter relay, right? So we can do something like that. And now we're producing, I think, even more EMC. I believe that is going faster. And then on top of that, you can do something like this, like this, uh, like not like that, like this, and thus like exponentially increase uh, the amount of uh, energy collectors you can connect to one condenser, like so. And I think that should be faster. It's still not crazy fast by any stretch of the imagination, and we're still gonna get most of our EMC by throwing in blocks of emerald, like so. But it is a fairly decent way of producing a little bit of free EMC, right? I also do believe that these work in some regard, like the, in some way they work based on light levels. So I'm not quite sure if I need to put down like more glowstone or something here in order to get this to uh, to work better. Specifically for like uh, these ones here, like I'm gonna put energy collectors like here and here and here. So I think that's the max that I can do. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I think you can put them uh, on the front if you want, but then you can't access uh, the energy condenser itself. But yeah, look at that. We are producing quite a bit of EMC, or at least a little bit of EMC. If I put in something like redstone here, we should be producing quite a bit. You know, it's a fairly decent amount of redstone. You can see we're getting way more than one a second. So we're definitely producing more than that standard 40 uh, EMC particular that you normally generate. And it's doing quite well. The Mark III don't care about light. Ah, okay. You missed one relay, did I? Oh, like on the bottom here. You mean like this? Get rid of uh, that, throw down an energy uh, collector right about there, put down a relay like that, and then like that. Is that the one that I'm missing there? So now we've got it maxed out, but it's pretty quick, right? Like it's, it's you know, when it's, it's, it's hard to tell when you're doing things like making red matter because the red matter requires just so much uh, EMC. But when you're making stuff like redstone, it's quite easy to see just how much kind of free stuff you're generating, which is pretty great. Let's have a look at getting some of the items required for this transmutation table. Now, some of these items we can put in right away. I'm going to start filling in uh, this thing here with the items that we have. For example, uh, we've already got an Energy Collector Mark III. We can put that in. Um, we've already got the Night Slime. We can put that in. We've already got the uh, Evil Infused Ingots. We can put those in as well. So we'll grab some of those. Let's quickly grab some Night Slime here. We only need, like, I think it's eight. So we'll grab eight of those. I want to grab too many. Uh, put Glowstone around the Mark III thingies. I've been told that... Uh, by people in the Twitch chat that the Mark III collectors do not uh, care about uh, light levels. Uh, that's not right. Is it like this? Let me check the recipe real quick here. Uh, it is two in. So two in like that, like that, like that, and like... No, it's like that. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's like that. That's, I don't know why that took me so much effort. And I think it's like four like this around the outside. Is that correct? Let me check real quick here. Uh, it is indeed good stuff. We then need pixie dust, which we'll work on in a little bit here. That's for Britannia. We need four ender stars, one energy collector, and then four quantum storage units. Again, the quantum storage units don't really seem that difficult to make. Uh, and they do have an EMC value. And so, of course, once we've made uh, one of these quantum storage units, making more of them should be fairly easy here. So all we need to do is make an iron storage crate then upgrade that to a gold storage crate, up again to a diamond storage crate, and then finally uh, up and to the quantum storage unit. It's actually surprisingly easy to make. I love it. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw this in there. That's gonna very quickly get us the four quantum storage units that we need. Uh, let's also quickly just grab one of these again. My pickaxe is too fast and these things break, <laughs> they break too quickly. Uh, but let's do that because we do need an extra one of these in order to make the What's it called? The transmutation tablet. So we'll do that. We'll throw one of these in the middle, like so. We'll throw these guys around like that. We then need those four uh, nether stars, which are actually not called nether stars, but they do require nether stars. They are called ender stars. Uh, again, thankfully, we got more dragon's breath, and we should have, I think, everything there to make another one of those. And I think we could make more than one of them, but there's no need to. We can just come over here, uh, throw it in there, and drop in a couple pieces of our red matter, and boom, we are ready to go with that. 
One, two, three, and four. This thing is building up quite quickly, right? Like we, you can kind of see how we could probably get towards this. So I think that's kind of where our look runs out because I think that's all of the really easy stuff taken care of. Now the things that we're missing, although actually no, Dark Matter is something that we could probably uh, put in there as well. How many pieces of, uh, of Dark Matter do we need here? We need 12 pieces of Dark Matter, which means I want to have at least 13 ready to go. And also I want to save a couple of pieces of, of red matter there as well. Yep, that is more than enough. Let's switch that back over to red matter real quick there. There we go. Good stuff. 42 is more than enough. And so what was it? One, two, three. Was it like that? What do, is, was it not 12? Am I a fool? Oh, no, yeah, no, it is 12. It's like this. And that. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Nice. So the things that we're missing now, we're missing the... Neutronium Nuggets, if we head on over here, uh, the Neutronium Nuggets, are a, they're, it's a weird item to get because it's essentially just, a t you just wait. Like this thing doesn't even use power of any kind. It just takes time. Like we can speed it up using the acceleration one, but really not that much. Like it's still quite slow. And so I think, like how many do we get to there? We're up to 89. Um, we can, I should probably lock that actually real quick. Let me grab my key, make sure that nothing else ends up in there. I don't know how anything else would end up in there, but just in case it does. Excuse me, where did my... Try that again. Nope. Boom. Lock. Nice. Yeah, not quite sure how anything else would end up in there, but just on the off chance that it does, uh, let's go ahead and quickly craft those up into uh, into some Neutrion... Neutrion? Neutron? Neutrons? Neutron nuggets? Neutronium nuggets. Okay. That goes nine Neutronium nuggets. We need 28, I think. Uh, so we're a little bit of the way there, but not quite much of the way there and so i think it probably is a good idea if we go ahead and make a couple more of these um neutron collectors uh thankfully they're not too oh, they're not too difficult to make but they are made inside of the extreme crafting table uh, if i show you the recipe here again like that means i have to take out all the stuff i've just put in which is annoying alternatively we could just make another crafting table although that is a waste of of nether stars right ah that's fine emc Oh, no, they, oh, yeah, they totally have an EMC chat. You're right. <laughs> like four people in the Twitch chat simultaneously were just like, you can EMC it, you fool. Just EMC it, EMC it, Isaac. Oh, my goodness. Chat, you're right. When you're right, you're right. Look at that. Okay, so I guess we're going to go for, yeah, we're going to go back to the old Emerald block here real quick. Um, and someone does make a good point that we should use compacting drawers for our... Um, collectors here so that they are like automatically so we can pull them out in nugget form we don't have to uh do the craft after the fact all right six it's still not a crazy number of them but it's it's more than one if you are wondering uh, fun fun fact there always active and extract always active nice originally i was going to put them all like into their own storage drawers but it kind of makes no sense i don't think uh, oh can i rotate these like again it doesn't matter at all but it would be very nice if i could make these face the right way Oh, that's annoying. Because <laughs> I kind of pull... You know what? That's fine. We'll just replace this one. I'm going to place this one, like, against... There we go. All right. Now they all look the same, at least. They don't... You can't see the front of them, but they all look the same, which is fine. Uh, so, yeah, those should all be slowly but surely producing what we need. Uh, it is still going to take a while because of the fact that they do take just so long to produce even one little pile of... Um, of neutrons and so we might at some point if we want to get this transmutation tablet have to spend a little bit of time uh, just using the acceleration wand on one of these collectors to try and get just to try and give it just a bit of a boost there you can see that did give us actually quite a bit of a boost i'm quite happy with that but nevertheless let's go is that right like it's not oh to just turn the piles automatically into uh into wait those are piles that's piles oh that's weird so despite what it shows here those are piles those are ing those are ingots. Oh, those are nuggets. Those are ingots. Because like if I pull this out, I pull out. Excuse me. Am I wrong here? Like that's changed. Now that's okay. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. See, I got a nugget there. That is weird. Because now when I pull it out, it pulls it out as a nugget, not as what it did previously. Isaac discovered a bug. Did I? Is that a thing? Because like, oh, see, now that's changed. Now it's showing, huh? Now, mmm.
it changed, right? Like, I'm wondering if if I leave it like that, can it actually accept the dust piles? Because there are four tiers, obviously. There is the dust, there's the, the nuggets, there's the ingers, and there's the blocks. And so... It does seem to be accepting themselves. I think as long as it's working, I'm fine with that. I think it's just a visual glitch here. I think this is 13 dust, one uh, nugget, and zero ingots, right? Like if I do this some more like this, and we kind of push it to uh, generate more tiny piles of, of dust here, you'll see it's putting the tiny piles of dust in there. If we get one more in real quick when it gets to 18, it will thus have two nuggets worth. So I think that's 18 dust, two nuggets, zero ingots. I think that's how that's working. I think it's just a visual glitch. Uh, trying it to show the, trying it to show it right, then lock the draw. That's a good point. Like that. <laughs> I don't think it matters. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Isaac, check the value of compressed sugar cane. It is real high, I think. Uh, compressed sugar cane. People have been telling me to use it in Sky Adventures, even though it's not a thing. But uh, yeah, octuple compressed sugar cane, 1.3 billion EMC. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. It's a good block to have to like just, if we were going to leave this thing here and have it produce something, uh, having it produce like octuple compressed, uh, octuple compressed sugar cane would be a good thing because it, it would, you know, we'd get the most EMC into our one chest. I am triggered. <laughs> it is a bit annoying, but like as long as it works, I'm not I'm not too bothered. Like it's fine. Uh, so that's that been taken care of. Transmutation. So we are going to slowly but surely uh, get those neutronium nuggets. Whether or not we have enough, uh, time will tell. You know, I think what we're going to have to do is just see how many we have uh, when we come to make this. And if we don't have enough, just use the acceleration wand uh, to try and get more of them. Uh, what else are we missing? We've got almost everything here i think the only we're missing three things now right four things we're missing the neutronium nuggets which we're waiting for we're missing four energy condensers which we can probably get actually fairly easily we're missing the hdpe pellets and we're missing the pixie dust everything else we have so let's have a look here first things first we'll start with the easy stuff i think the easiest the the next easy thing for us to make is going to be another energy condenser we've already made one i think making another one here is going to be pretty easy for us uh, again we do need to replace the refined iron here with normal iron but after we do that it should be smooth sailing from here on out uh, isaac can you see if there's a watch of flowing time mm, i think i did check in the last stream but i will check again because i have completely forgotten i believe there is a watch of flowing time and i think it's easier to make than i thought yeah there is so actually slight detour let's have a look let's see if we can do something with this right did I, was I a fool? Oh no, I'm not a fool. I'm a little bit of a fool because I think I did use almost all my dark matter, but we do still have a little bit in there. We still got one piece of red matter. I'm gonna, I need to make like a like a safety chest, right? Where I keep like one of each item so that I don't miss it. I'm gonna put like one red matter in there and one dark matter in there so I can come back to that if uh, if I need to, right? Um, but yeah, this watch of flowing time isn't too difficult to make. And I believe what it does, for those who don't know, is I believe it increases the speed at which I think it works like the acceleration wand, but you can kind of place it down and have it work in an area around it, right? It says on pedestal gives 18 bonus ticks to nearby blocks every tick. Each tick in nearby mobs move 0.1 times the speed. So giving 18 bonus ticks, I think essentially just doubles the speed at which things work because there are 20 ticks per second. Um, oh, it says 18 bonus ticks per tick. I'm not, I have no idea, chat. I have no idea. I'm going to try it though. Um, I think you can put multiple of these down in an area as well. So you have to make the watch of flowing time. I believe you can just use it in your inventory. Like for example, if I just come over here, um, I need to quickly go to my key bindings, go to project E. Let me, uh, if I type in key and then V. Yeah, so I need, I got charge on. Let me just turn off some of these other things because there's a conflict. So if I press V, it charges it up. And I think just having it on speeds this up. So like you see how fast it's going up here. If I turn this off, I don't know if that's doing anything. When you hold it in... When you hold it, you change the time of day, really? Fast forward. Rewind. Fast forward. You don't have it on? Put it on a pedestal. I know you can put it on a pedestal. I thought you could also use it um, in your inventory. Um, I know we can make these dark matter pedestals here, uh, which are a little pricey. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they could be cheaper. It's, it's surprising that the pedestal is like more expensive than the, uh, how many emerald 
products do we have left? None. All right, okay, that makes sense. Uh, do we have any other like high value items? We've got the Awakened Draconium, but the Awakened Draconium doesn't have uh, any form of, of EMC, which is a little disappointing. Um, your Lorium, which also doesn't have an EMC. Huh. How many diamonds do we have left? We've got like a stack of diamonds here, so we can probably make those. Uh, look at the time. Oh yeah, the time is flying by, isn't it? Jeez. But does that so does that have an effect though? Like, does that actually affect the speed at which this works? Like, if I like, does it affect the speed of anything, or does it just like rapidly spin through the time? Right click it with a type of fuel in your inventory. That doesn't seem to work. At least I can't seem to get it to work. Become the master of time. Right click to change mode. Time mode fast forward. The tick speed is only affected when you place it on a pedestal. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's give it a try then. Let's get... Uh, dark matter pedestal. Uh, so we need four red matter. So let's quickly try and get that first, I guess. That's, that was not going to do anything, is it? The coal's like worth nothing. So we need four dark matter, uh, four red matter even, sorry. And then what, like six blocks of dark matter? We need five blocks of dark matter, which is 20 dark matter. Okay, so we'll throw you in. We'll throw you in. That takes us up to 16. And then hopefully that'll take us up to over 20. Nice. Okay. Five of those. And then dark matter pedestal. So... I think, guys, we charge this thing up and we put it down somewhere like here. I don't know if that's any faster or not, but I think like, for example, if I try and get you something that we can kind of show this off on, like if I get some dirt and then like maybe a hoe and then something that we can grow, I think that we can maybe see this in action, hopefully. Maybe. Now right click on the pedestal. Oh! Oh, look, chat. Chat. Look at that. Look at that speed difference. Holy heck. So you turn it off, and this is the speed. You turn it on. Look, and there we go. So this was a bad example, I guess. Get rid of that. No one cares. Look at that. I wonder what the, um, like, I wonder if it affects this as well. Like, I wonder what the range is on this. I don't think it's quite reaching that far, but I think if we were to move it over there, it would have the same effect. Rip TPS. Ah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Look at that, though. Uh, can you use it next to the condenser? Ooh. Ooh, that's also a good point. Like, can you use it to make more... To, to make this run faster? That is a good point. So let's see here. We got like 8, 9, 10, 1... Two, three. Just kind of get, trying to get an idea for the speed there. If we put this on and then boop it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, I believe you can stack them, right? I'm pretty sure you can stack them. The wiki says you can have up to like quite a few in a uh, in a certain area. Ho, ho, ho. Let's, uh, let's give this a try, shall we? So how many... Let me quickly make some more diamond blocks here. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is where we might destroy the TPS. Like, this is where TPS issues might, might kick in. Oh, gosh. Is it already happening? Have I already done it? Oh, there we go. 64 blocks. Okay. So, like, let's let's throw this in there here real quick to get more of these. We only need a 20, right? And then let's uh, quickly switch that back over to red matter so we can make... Uh, oh, no. I'm a... Mm, yeah, no. I'm an idiot again. I can just condense this. I think I can condense both of them, right? Did I lose that? That's no, right there. Whew. Let me get rid of some stuff in my inventory here. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's just, 4 million EMC, man. That thing is expensive. But we'll throw that in there like so. Get ourselves another one of these. And then the Watcher Flowing Time does also have an EMC. Look at that. Multiple of them. So. I don't know if you have to charge them up, but I will do. Just why not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. We need to chat. We have to go faster. Someone crashed the server. We need to go deeper, chat. 
we need to go deeper. These don't have an EMC. This is making an EMC. Oh my goodness, it's 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 fast, but like that, that thing requires so much in the way of uh, in the way of EMC. They're so expensive. He's gone drunk with power. It's true. It's true, chat. He's 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 gone mad. There we go. Okay, so another one. The <laughs> hold on. Now the TPS is okay at the minute, supposedly. And then another one. Oh. There we go, chat. Look at that. Let me uh, let me put something a little less valuable in there to try and... A little bit less valuable being still dark matter. Look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. That's 139,000 dark matter right there. Guess this server will be dead soon. <laughs> it seems to be doing okay. This is why I'm like hidden in my own area so that we don't destroy the server. But yeah, there we go. So that produces a good amount of uh, of EMC, which I guess is nice. Um, for now, like, we don't necessarily need these here for the EMC just yet. So I'm going to pick these up. I'm going to put these all down over by the um, over by the neutron collectors. Because if they stack over here, like, that's going to make life just so much easier, right? In terms of getting all of the ones that we need. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so fast. I love it. So that should make getting... Uh, all of the required nuggets here a little easier, which is pretty cool. I like it. Put them by the chickens. We should definitely try the chickens at least, right? Again, let me let me check the watch of flowing time. Let me check the radius on those real quick. Like, are these already in the radius or, or not? Let's see. So, like, this guy, I think he's definitely not in the radius. Like, these definitely are. Let me, uh, let me try this real quick. I don't think we're going to leave them here, because, again, I don't think it makes any sense to leave them there. New goal, 35 pedestals coming up. <laughs> I'm not going to make 35 pedestals. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's that's going pretty quick at the top there. It's kind of just jumping. The bar's just going through and producing those. That is super nice. So, like, if we really wanted to make a crazy setup here, we could get... I guess up to 35 of these ones, uh, uh, the, these um, watches of flowing time, throw them down into like an area that's just crammed full of emerald chickens producing, you know, emeralds and then have all that pumping into like a condenser. And that would be even more crazy, I think, in terms of, of in terms of EMC generation. But for now, we'll leave them there. We'll let them, uh, we'll let them work on the neutron collectors. You'll see we've got another six there already, which is crazy. And thus, we can now kind of just throw them in there. We're almost to the point where we've got all of the, the neutron collectors, which is pretty nice indeed. Anyway, for now, now the acceleration one is just pointless. And I know, right? The acceleration one really has been just shown up, I think is the is the only real word for it. Uh, let's get back to trying to make this freaking uh, n another energy condenser so we can make multiple more energy condensers. Uh, before I do that, though, let me quickly go ahead and yeah, there we go. The quest is complete. Good stuff. Uh, so now four dark matter, four red matter, one dirt chest, nine thousand. Easy enough. And then I was working on making the uh, the diamond chest, right? Did I make the iron chest? I did not. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and quickly go through this crafting chain once again. Oh yeah, I was doing this when people told me about the the watch of flowing time, right? We got we got sidetracked, we got detoured, we got thrown off course by the overpoweredness of the of the of the watch. Holy heck, that thing is powerful, man. I'm surprised that, I guess they didn't tweak the recipe is, is what happened there. Like, it was just not changed at all. Did I just make a an iron chest? No? Try that again. Uh, can you use the acceleration wand on it as well? You mean, like, on the, um, on the collector or on, like, my mind's thinking, what if we use the acceleration wand on the pedestal with the watch of flowing time? Like, does that make it think that time's going faster and thus increase the speed at which it increases the speed of things? Oh, no, I do have two golden chests right there. I'm a fool. Like, that would be crazy, right? So, a diamond chest and then crystal chest. Cool. All right, give me my philosopher's stone back. 
Do we have, yeah, we've got quite a bit of, of dark matter, which is nice. I'm going to throw in like my furnaces here. We don't need these. And then give me some red matter real quick. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and quickly make our next energy condenser. So not you. It is you. And then four of these. Again, you got to, it's, it's a bit tedious because you got to split them into uh, into different stacks. Otherwise, it'll put them all on the same stack. So let me clear my inventory out a little bit here. We don't need all of this stuff on us just yet. We need at least four of you. So one, two, three, four. And then the same with dark matter. One, two, three, four. Like that will do. One, two, three, four. Got to remember to take that uh, obsidian off. I don't know if that's going to affect the recipe, but just in case. Kapow. Nice. Okay, so that's going to make us another uh, energy condenser there. While that's doing that, let us put that theory to the test, right? Acceleration one. I've already got one in my inventory, but that's fine. Get out a fresh one. Can you accelerate? Like, I don't know if we're going to be able to test this in any way, like in any meaningful way. Like, we've got 19 nuggets, I guess. Like, does this work? I don't think it does. No, still at 19. I guess you could do this on top of the wand, on top of the, the Watch of Flowing Time, and that might have a boosted effect. I have no idea. 171. See if we can get that higher. No, it's still 171, eh? Oh, the server's just... Oh. <laughs> oh, there, oh, oh. Not enough energy in the wand. Oh, we... 48... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did we just... Did we just go up in... Did that work? The wand is out of energy, I guess. I don't know. I think you can set the crafters to, to single item only. You can, yeah. We probably should at this point. Uh, I didn't previously because of the fact that... Oh, yeah, look at that 49. So we've got the nuggets, I guess. Um, we, did, uh, we, we didn't have it set to single item mode before because of the fact that uh, single item mode... Uh, that, that didn't take my nuggets, did it? Or did it? Oh, no, it did. Nice. Okay, we got 41 extra nuggets. That's crazy. Um... Yeah, we, we, the reason why we didn't have it set to single item mode before is because of the fact that um, we were making things in, in bulk. At this point, I guess we're really only going to be making one. So that's got single... Oh, did I just fudge that up? I did. I just bloody cancelled it halfway through. Gosh dang it. Um, yeah, we had it set to single item mode. We didn't have it set to single item mode before because we were making stacks of things. Now that we're only making one thing at a time and then condensing it, you know, like, we can we can change those to single item mode. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, server crashes if you accelerate the watch. Mmm... That makes sense. That makes sense. But that also, I think, for a brief time, it did freak out for a second, but I think it did work. I think we did get, like, we did manage to accelerate the acceleration and thus go kind of crazy on it. <laughs>